In this video, I'm following on from the video I posted yesterday, which is all about improving the speed of your WooZone Amazon affiliate website. Uh, I couldn't leave it where it was. The page score, in my opinion, wasn't high enough. Um, we did make some improvements, but I wanted to make some more improvements, so that's what this video is for. Uh, let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. Before I start, uh, if this video looks slightly better quality, which I hope it does, it's because I bought a new lens. Woohoo! Anyway, this video is a follow up from yesterday where I posted the video all about improving the speed of your WooZone Amazon affiliate website. Uh, I got so far in that video, I got the speed up to over 50 odd, but I really want to get a better score than that if I'm honest. So, in this video, I try out a new plugin, which is called WP Rocket, which was recommended by a couple of people in the comments on that video. So I thought, hey, I'll try it out. So you'll see the effect of that. And I also moved the site to some new hosting. Uh, as I said, it's hosting that's gonna make a big effect on your speed and on your page speed score. So I thought I'd better show you guys what the difference is. So let's get on the computer and take a look. So the new plugin that I've installed is WP Rocket, uh, which was recommended uh, a lot of people mentioned it in the comments on my last uh, performance video. So I thought I'd give it a try. It is a premium plugin, I'm afraid, which means you're gonna have to pay for it, but it's just $39 for a single site and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out, uh, see if you get much of an improvement. And if you don't, get your money back. So I've installed it over on Boot Boutique. Um, see in here in WP Rocket. Basically, I've just ticked to use uh, lazy load on images, iframes and videos, uh, optimized all those, and ticked this mobile cache, uh, and that's it. I've also disabled Visual Composer, which you can do within plugins. That is uh, the editor that comes with Kingdom. I've never used it before. Um, I just use the Kingdom shortcodes and the normal editor, so I thought I'd disable it as it adds an extra script to the site. And the fewer scripts, the better, I think. So yeah, it's just here, WP Bakery Visual Composer. I've just deactivated it. Obviously, if you're using it, then I'd leave it active. I'm gonna just dismiss the notice that's telling me I've uh, deactivated it. So I've been running uh, PageSpeed. I've been getting scores of 52 on the mobile and 63 on the desktop, which is a, a bit of an improvement over uh, yesterday's video where I was using WP Fastest Cache, which is a free plugin, uh, which still does some good stuff. Uh, but I think this WP Rocket seems to add a few extra points on the page speed score. It's now up to 54. It does fluctuate and 64 for that. It does fluctuate and the biggest fluctuation is caused by this server response time. I've been running this page speed test all morning while I've been tweaking and playing around. And at some points I actually jump up into the orange color, which is a score above 70, I think, something like that. Uh, and that's purely down to the server response time. So sometimes the server does respond really quickly and you get a great score and then other times when obviously there's other stuff going on on their server, other websites loading, it's a little bit slower. So the next thing I wanna do now is I'm gonna move the site onto WP Engine. Now in my last video, yesterday's video it was, I did um, mention that moving hosting is probably a good thing to do to reduce that server response time. So I'm gonna move to WP Engine which is the host I recommend. Again, I'll put a link up on the screen, it is an affiliate link, but I use this for quite a few uh, sites that I'm running. So I thought, hey, why not? I'm, I've got a package that's got a few uh, free slots on it. I'm gonna move the site over and see what effect it has. So I'm not gonna show you all that stuff in this video because that'll be a separate video. And I'll probably call it how to move your site to WP Engine or something like that. So let me just do that in the background. Remember that number, 54 out of 100 and this number, 64 out of 100. Let me move the site, we'll run this again and we'll just see uh, what effect that, that has on this score and um, and how fast the site loads. So uh, let's do an edit. So I've successfully migrated my site over to WP Engine and it does appear to be running a bit faster but let's run the page speed insights test and see what we get. So yeah, here's the scores from last time, I haven't touched this page. Let's click analyze. Oh, I'm holding my breath, sort of. Whoa, there we go. So that's the difference hosting makes. So we're up to 69 on the mobile. Still got a problem with these few things, but I'm not too worried about them. They are only really little when you look at them. It's like seven little scripts that are causing problems. 
Um, so yeah, nothing to worry about there. Desktop has gone green, we're into 86 out of 100, which is a great uh, score. So uh, there we go. Uh, I'm pretty happy now, the site's running nice and fast. Um, I hope yours is too. Um, good luck uh, optimizing your site. So there we go, nice and fast, and I hope you achieve similar results on your website. If you like this video, if you could click the like button below, that really helps me out. And please do subscribe to the channel uh, by clicking on the little eagle up there. Uh, then you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here is a uh, another video from my channel, which I think you're gonna like. Until next time, bye for now.